So for this video, I wanted to do a very candid and raw video. Um, my lighting's weird because my lighting broke, so it is what it is. But I wanted to talk about something that I've been going through since I was 14, and I feel like people hear it and don't understand it. And I'm... I just wanted to talk about it because it's been really hard for me the last year. Um, but I'm talking about my allergies. Um, and you could call this a health video or my health video, but... Um, so pretty much my allergies are... I'm allergic to anything synthetic. I don't know exactly what the synthetic thing I'm allergic to or if there's more than one because doctors don't t test for that so it makes it harder for the the people out there that are allergic to certain um, chemical ingredients because there's no test to really try it that means you'd have to read all the ingredients and all the ingredients there's like maybe 200 ingredients 100 ingredients there's, I don't know the exact number, but there's so many chemical ingredients in every product that are sold on shelves that there's no way of really telling which ones you're allergic to and which ones you're not. So I stay away from all of them and I um, tend to be allergic to all of them. So I'm just taking it as anything synthetic. So that being um, lotions, perfume air freshener, um, soaps, soaps is a huge thing, um, hairspray, hair products, any of that, anything synthetic, that's what I mean. Anything that would be sold on a Walmart shelf or Target shelf or something that's not all natural. And some things that say that they're all natural aren't all natural. I just want to throw some shade. I'm okay with that, but seventh generation, they proclaim that they're all natural, but when they rebrand a couple years ago, they started putting synthetic products in it because I used to be able to use seventh generation, and then they rebranded, and then I started having an allergic reaction to that, so I just wanted to put a PSA about that. Um, but there's other people out there that have allergies, and... Um, and all allergies come out in different ways in different people's bodies. That's just how it works. But for me, I start to swell. It usually starts with my hand. And thank goodness it's a slow one for me. Because some people can swell really fast. And I tend to be a slower one. So my hands get swollen. My cheeks get swollen. And then once my cheek and my face is a little bit swollen, it goes down to like my tongue and my throat. And then I can't breathe. Um, so, ever since I moved here, there's lots of people that I live with that use synthetic products, so it's been a pain, and today I had a major reaction, like, um, I don't have, I have little reactions a lot, honestly, but... I've only had a few times that I felt like, oh, I need to go to, like, the emergency room because I can't breathe. Um, and I kind of had one of those today. I mean, we, I've been using some oils and, um, I got some Benadryl and that helped. But it's really stressful, um, and I don't really think people really understand that. Um... Because it's very much, and it's really frustrating for me because in my house, there's it's not a safe place for um, my allergies and definitely outside the house. So there's like nowhere that is safe for me. Um, it's kind of like if you have like a people that are like gluten free or have food allergies, like having to continue to eat it is kind of how I'm my allergies are but I really wanted to make this video and talk about it because I don't think people really understand it and some people think I'm faking it or making it up but I'm not um, 
but yeah that was pretty much it for this video not pretty much it that was it um, nothing special no fancy editing maybe I'll put in no I probably won't put in any music but I'll definitely put my little outro and my intro thing in but yeah just wanted to be real oh, I know how to feel. I know that love it's a sleep, but the fish is down